This is Castlevania running through emulation. On the left is the standard game, and on the right is the retextured version. The sprites and backgrounds have all been enhanced by modders. It certainly does look a lot better, and I would be surprised if console fanboys disagreed with me. The texture mod even adds transparencies to water, as you can see here. It certainly is a nice touch. On top of improving graphics, these mods can also drastically improve sound, like here with Metroid. In fact, there are literally dozens of texture mods on the internet made specifically for older NES games like these. The Legend of Zelda probably has one of the best transformations I've seen, but if you have a favorite NES game, there's probably a texture mod available online. You need a specific emulator called Messen to use texture mods for NES games. I'll provide a link below if you're interested. Anyway, I'm using Windows, so I'll download the appropriate version to my computer. After that, I'll paste the archive to my desktop and create a folder called NES Games. This is for the purposes of my video, but you can create the folder anywhere and call it whatever you like. Now I'll extract the single file inside the archive and put it on my desktop. From there, I will drag the executable inside this new desktop folder. I'll run the emulator once to create the necessary files and folders. As soon as the emulator starts, make sure to store data in the same folder as the application. This is for convenience sake. After that, you can choose to create a desktop icon and confirm to continue. I should add that I created a game folder here. It contains a single ROM, which I will show later. But now it's time to set up the emulator. Head on over to Settings and select Video Size. This will allow you to increase the window in case you don't like to play in full screen mode. Control settings are really easy. You can use a gamepad or a keyboard. It doesn't really matter. Controls may not be configured correctly though, so you may have to change them manually. Two things need to be enabled under the Video tab. The first is VSync and the second is exclusive full screen mode. Under the NES tab, make sure to enable HD packs. Obviously, modding won't be possible without this setting. Once that's done, you'll notice a new folder here called HD packs. This is where your texture mods will go. I want to install a texture pack for Mega Man. Most of these are on romhacking.net, which is a popular website for modders. I'll download from the Google Drive link. I put the texture mod on my desktop, as you can see here. Now I'll create a folder and copy the archive's name. I'll explain why, so don't skip this part of the video. Paste the name on the folder, otherwise the mod won't work at all. To make it clear, the names must match exactly. Now simply extract the archive into this folder. When that's done, Drag this new folder into the HD Packs folder. Finally, go where you have the Mega Man ROM. In my case, it's inside the Games folder. And just like before, paste the name that you copied earlier. Please note that I'm playing with the US NTSC version. And there it is. I have Mega Man running with its texture pack. Now it looks like a proper SNES game. In case you're not impressed, this is how the original graphics look like. By now you know the spiel. If you found my video useful, please remember to give a like. It really helps with the algorithm. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.